lanterns on how to grow uh, organic food in a sustainable way using hand tools and digging the beds so that we can show the interns exactly um, what it's like to have your hands in the dirt and feel what is good soil, what is good healthy soil, and how to plant all these things and have constant interaction with the soil and the plants. For me, it's the perfect internship because uh, we are working on a lot of different types of vegetable, fruit, cover cropping, compost. It's all those like really different fields that you need to handle and know how to deal with. I'm really excited to see it. like the plants starting out now that we're seeding and to see them grow and then put them in the garden and then to sell them. Start out really tiny and then be something that is sellable but also really delicious. It's like a good portrayal of the cyclical events of life and of nature. I like how everything starts out and then returns back into the ground. Stella Gardens is not mechanized. We do everything with these guns. <laughs> and one time as we were veggie building and using these ropes to, create, to make straight lines on our beds, we're just all sort of you know, moving ropes and doing things to get things really done, working really efficiently actually. We're very good at building beds. Um, we just grab our rope and it's like a 50 foot bed and we're just jump roping. We have a lot of fun. And we're all really passionate about food and I think that that's really exciting. And more about food, I think we're, we're all, we've all um, taken a lot of interest in, in developing our relationship to the land to the soil. They immediately bonded and formed a really strong team and they work together tremendously well. They coordinate all their activities. They talk through and discuss very democratically um, what they need to do. It just, it just this one should now. be here, okay? But yeah, you did already this so we can keep a space. I mean, we're just gonna have like one space. They've uh, managed to do a, a tremendous yeah. job and I'm really proud of them. They've They've been marketing extremely well. They've kept on top of the harvest. They, we haven't had any complaints about our produce. Everything just looks tremendously beautiful. Right now I'm taking the leaves off. I've been the here um, for nearly seven months now, six, seven months. And I feel like I'm, I learned a lot on, uh, by experimenting. Like I'm out in the garden. I learn how to harvest different vegetables, know when they are ready. From planning through uh, sowing the crops and through um, weeding and, and harvest and it's really important to have them involved in all those aspects because we believe that's the best way that they'll learn. I think the East Trade Farmers Market is a great way to, to get to know people in the community and to see it, the people who are buying the food at the market and at the cooler sales. This year we've noticed and a tremendous increase in the number of people coming to our farmers market here in East Troy and our sales have been amazing and I really think it's due to the increase in awareness of the sustainability movement and where our food comes from. The craft workshops have served as a way to see sort of um, how other farms run um, and it just gives you ideas. Visiting these other farms has, has provided that experience for me. Um, the workshops at Michael Fields have been um, really nice, amazing, and it's great that they're offered to f um, the interns free of charge. Being the garden manager here for the last two years in Stella Gardens has really given me an amazing opportunity to learn firsthand what it takes to manage a, a small scale but completely hands-on program with interns. So I'm managing people and then I do all the crop planning and uh, I try and integrate the interns into that at some point. It's been great to work with Sean. She brings a really awesome background to like the bio biological area of the, of the plants and of agriculture, which is really valuable. So she sets up the priorities and then allows a lot of room for, for us to, to make decisions. Farming, for me, would be investing on perennial plants. What I mean by that, like we have asparagus here, rhubarb, fruit trees, all those um, plants that are coming every year. And for me, that's 
sustainable agriculture is like having a strong perennial plant base that you can just rely on and then on the side you have like all those vegetables that are annual that are obviously also very important. I would like to learn more about agriculture, um, growing fruit and vegetables organically. I would like to apply it in a, in a way that's meaningful. So, for example, um, some places use um, growing food as a sort of therapy. One of the things that's most, most important to me is making is food equity, making, um, making organic food or, or nutritious food available to people like myself, to the community that I grew up in, and not just making it um, a question of like power, privilege, and, and essentially like class. The, the experiences that the interns bring themselves and have here in the gardens and the passions they develop through their intimate relationship with the gardens and their knowledge and experiences here are really transferred to the public through talking and interacting at the farmers market and um, in giving the tours to grade schools and to um, different organizations that come to Michael Fields to have a tour of the garden. And I think it's that interaction between our interns and the public that is so important for spreading the message about sustainable and organic agriculture.